Well, that kind of brings us into a more personal time here, and that is, I'd love to hear your testimonies. And uh, so, Leslie, I'd like to start with you. Could you tell us a little bit about uh, what was going on in your life and your salvation experience? Uh, could you go ahead and share that with everybody? Sure. Um, <clears throat> well, I was born into a Christian family, and my uh, father had felt called to be uh, start a mission church. And uh, so we started that journey while he was finishing seminary. And during that time, a Sunday school teacher uh, led me to the Lord. And uh, she used what was called at the time um, a heart trouble track. And it used different colors to represent the different points of the gospel. And, um, and at that time, <clears throat> excuse me, I prayed to accept the Lord. I was very young at the time. Um, but I really believe that God uh, called me. And um, when I got to be about 15 or so, I um, went to youth camp. And we had a speaker that um, kept asking us if we were sure that we were saved. And by the end of camp, nobody was sure yeah. that they were saved. Yeah. And um, so I just asked the Lord to really remind me of my experience. And um, he did very clearly uh, remind me of the track that was used and the verses that were uh, used at the time. And then uh, when I uh, went down to Biola University, uh, one of their distinctives is that uh, you need to be involved in a Christian service assignment. And so I was introduced to Child Evangelism Fellowship at that time. And um, the truths were so similar to what I had been exposed to. They actually used the same uh, colors, and they uh, represented um, the, the gold color, uh, represented uh, God and heaven. And uh, the verse was that I remember from the, the heart trouble track was Matthew 5, 8. You know, blessed are the pure in God, for they shall re, uh, see God. Well, I knew that my heart was not pure, and the Bible told us that uh, all of us have sinned, and it tells us in Romans 3.23 that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But praise God, he loves me, and he had a plan. He had a plan to send his son, Jesus, to come and to take the punishment for me. And so First John 1.7 said, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. And when I received that forgiveness, he cleansed me from that sin. It says in First John 1 John 1.9, if we confess our sin, he's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And the, the op opportunity that we have then is to be immediately filled with the Holy Spirit who guides us through the word of God to start growing to be like him. And this green color reminds us of that. And so I started on um, the journey of t doing good news clubs in my home. Wherever we moved, wherever we lived, um, I started doing a good news club. And uh, the unique thing about Child Evangelism Fellowship, their methodology is that as you're teaching the, the Bible lesson, you're looking for places where you can insert the different points of the gospel and then give every child that opportunity to come to know the Lord. And um, it's been a privilege throughout my life, wherever I've taught school or taught church, to be able to use that same methodology and to lead children to Jesus Christ. And uh, most recently, leading my great-grandson to the Lord, and he's very eager to tell you that he has given his heart to Jesus Amen. and that he wants to live Amen. for him. Amen. So, Phil, uh, you talked a little bit about your calling, but we didn't really hear about your salvation experience. So could you tell me about what, what age you were when that happened? Uh, I was somewhere around five. Five, okay. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, my mom, uh, well, like I said, we went to chapel and uh, learned all the good uh, book and uh, the good hymns and uh, <clears throat> we had a we had a painting a small painting it was probably that small but it was it seemed large to me uh, that was above our front door by the uh, light switch and it was I could reach it as a five year old and um, uh, it was the picture of Jesus in the garden knocking on the door. And uh, there was, she explained to me that it, she'd take it down every once in a while and we'd talk about it. She explained to me there's no handle or doorknob on his side of the door. The handle is on our side. He's knocking. He wants us to open. And he, she used the verse of uh, Revelation 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and 
opens the door, I will come into him and sup with him and he with me. Um, such a simplistic thing as the gospel, I was able to comprehend Amen. at the age of five. Amen. And uh, not with my mom, but when I was out in the <laughs> playing outside, I remember um, saying, this is about the time I need to do that. Because I knew what love was, because my mom and my dad, and I knew I wanted to go to heaven when I died. And uh, it, I didn't know anything about baptism and all the other the theology and doctrines, but I knew that God loved me, and I knew that he came and he died for me, and he rose again from the dead. I prayed that simple prayer as a child, and uh, the miracle of that new birth was that that never changed. Amen. He kept me throughout a whole lot of stuff. And uh, and I praise him for that. 